Yo, what's a good job? <laughs> oh my god, I had a voice crack. What the fuck? Yo, what's a good job? Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers franchise. We are here in season five, maybe six, <laughs> five or six for sure. Um, yeah, we are here in season five, six, whatever. Coming off a Super Bowl win against the uh, Seattle. Almost said Supersonic. Seattle Seahawks. I want to say Seattle Seahawks. It was a very good game. I actually like how that game performed. And we're going to leave sides as it is because I like the way it performed. We'll see how this season goes. And uh, what else was I headed to? Oh, yeah. If you're new here, press the subscribe button because this would be the last season. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This would be your last season. Um, after the season is over, if we do a Super Bowl, I will be doing other series, obviously. I definitely will be doing other series. I just think this has run its course, but the main reason why... The main reason why I'm not doing the series anymore because because uh, we have no money <laughs> at all. It has run its course and everything. Uh, I think we did everything we could to the series, but being honest, we really have no money. We couldn't check out the salary cap situation. We really have no money. We have 3.8 in cap space. Oh, man. If we go to resign players, we just look at the players we have to resign, right? Quentin Nelson, who we are going to need if we do continue the series. He's asked for 44 over 3, which is a reasonable price. Then again, Hunter Henry, asking for 50 over 5. Deserve it. Definitely deserve it. Dorian Dale, asking for basically 70 over 4. Deserve it. Kenneth Murray Jr., asking for 30 over 3. Deserved. Tony Burton, I don't think you ex you really deserve that. Well, that's not even a lot. Twenty six over three. I would be I would be willing to pay you that since you are young. Like yeah, I would be willing to do these offers. Like all these players really do deserve it. But the worst was acting for the most money. Like the actually most m most Justin Herbert. He is X for voice phone's cracked again. What the fuck? Does Herb is asking for the most money. He's asking for two hundred and twenty million. I don't think you just heard what I said. Two hundred twenty million. I don't have that. I don't. Facts, y'all. Yeah, speak the facts. <laughs> and the rest of these people, it doesn't matter. So, so, so this will be our last season. Um, I, I just, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't even have ten mil. I have, I have like eight, kinda. I've kind of have eight. And the draft, we didn't take anybody on offense to my understanding yeah i'm not really seeing anybody we took on offense uh, i think they did draft this player uh garrison beck out of oregon 5'11 191 pounds i don't know why i said his weight but he looks all right obviously fast decent catching Obviously, his route running could use a little bit of work, but other than that, I think he's a decent player. We could bring him in on returns and stuff. But the place we did draft a lot and we did move some pieces is on defense. We uh, traded away Drew Tranquil to draft Mason, Joe Mason. I think he's he, he, I think he's really going to be good. He's coming into a big role. Straight out of Virginia Tech, 6'2", 235. Very fast, as you... Now can see 81 speed, 89 XL. Um, his block shedding is he's just I think he's gonna be a better Drew Tranquil for this last season. I was gonna say for the future, but there's no future in this team. There's just what about 20 something weeks, maybe 22 weeks, including the bye week. If we make it to the Super Bowl and we win, he obviously can't really cover that well. But since I'm gonna be using him. Hopefully, I remember to use him in most plays. He's going to be good. We also drafted, uh, what's his name? Marquez Harriet. 6'3, uh, 195, 23 years old, out of Michigan. He's almost actually revealing his uh, death trait, which is interesting. So, if you look at him, he's a pretty decent zone guy. Can't really. Running man, but he's very fast. He obviously could hit the quarterback. He could rush at a decent rate. He's not 
very good at block shedding or anything, but his pursuit, play rec, and his speed to getting there, if he comes on like a safety blitz and he comes unblocked, you know? Or even if he just um, comes down in the box and he stops runs. That's why he reminds me of Drew, uh, not Drew, Derwin James a lot, a lot. So yeah, Marcus Harriet could obviously be great for us. And we also drafted this guy, Felix Adams. 6'3", uh, 188 pounds. Don't even know. Why, why do I keep saying the weight like it matters? It matters sometimes, but in this case, it doesn't. 21 years old out of Vanderbilt. He's also a very decent one. I think, I think since he's going to be our, what, fourth, fifth string cornerback, He's not going to come in that much. He might come in when people get tired or when we need an extra DB on the field. He might even be that extra DB we bring on the field. But I think he also can be good. Uh, you know, just he's not going to be he's not going to be needing to cover guys that well. Well, he's not be ever going to be covering the best player unless somehow one of our players get injured. But yeah, I think he's really good. Decent speed. Obviously, his zone and man is, are nowhere good. Uh, he has a decent play rec, decent press. So, maybe his speed helps him out, his raw abilities. And I think that's all we have. Oh, yeah, they also drafted Max Hoover for us, who is not particularly well. He's a little... He's kind of comparable to Felix Adams, honestly. Just played different positions, obviously again yeah so that is what we drafted and this is our team for season five or six for season six Trayvon Tapp is obviously going to be starting right outside linebacker who's going to be blitzer Quido Ellis who probably <clears throat> why is my voice cracking so much today what the fuck Quido Ellis who probably thought he was going to get a bigger role in this team with Drew Tranquil going out he thought he's probably going to next next man up but you're going to get a probably the same role you had last year or the past two years, however long you've been on the team. So yeah, this is the team. Uh, I think we have a, a, a good team. We already know how our players perform. And this should be a great season. We're going to get upgrades and get right into the game against the Bengals. Season opener. Home opener, actually. Cordell Ellis, we're going to go... I'm going to try to go through this quick. We're going to go uh, pass cards for you. That boosts you up to 80 now. Plus two to play rec, plus two to tackle, one to zone. So your zone is at a decent spot. I don't know what is that. Whatever, I just skipped it. Let's just continue. Trayvon Tap. I think something with block shedding, right? What is your block shedding on? 74. I might just go with the highest. Oh, that's your scheme fit. Perfect. We just 78 overall. One to agility, two to finesse move, two to tackle, and one to zone cover for some reason. Marquez Harriet. I think we're going to need to go into that zone. Maybe hybrid, actually. That's going to be your scheme fit, too. That does boost your overall, also. Plus two to awareness, change of direction, pursuit, and tackle. I like it. Derwin James. It really doesn't matter what you get at this point, does it? Not really. Your block shedding could go up. We're going to go run stopper. That does boost your overall. Do you get a couple? And, oh, two block, block shots. I was going to say, we didn't even get nothing for block shot. That's crazy. And two to zone. That's actually pretty nice. What's your zone on now? I don't see zone. Oh, 95 zone. 68 block shedding. Denario Diggs, who... If I had to guess anybody was going to be a superstar X Factor, it was going to be him, but it really wasn't him. It was actually Emmanuel Mosley, and I think we're going to go. You have very good zone and man. I would love to see that press go up. So, what you're going to put up, man, which is that is your scheme fit. You are a man corner. Man might be in the 90s now. Not only one to man coverage. Oh, your man is in the 90s, actually. It was already in the 90s. I thought it was like 88, 89. Kenneth Murray Jr. Maybe 
pass coverage. I actually want to go block shedding. I'm going to go block shedding. I'm going to go run stopper. It's going to boost you to 88 overall. And plus two to block shed. And the rest are kind of good. So he has very, very good overall stats. If I was to look at him, I would guess he would be like a 95, but obviously he's only an 88. Joe Reed. I'm just going to go deep threat. I'm going to waste no time. Just stick in deep threat. I might look to change some abilities, especially in this. Don't want to do that? Nah, I'm going to leave it. Emmanuel Mosley, who is our superstar X Factor, who I don't believe you, you don't even have your second ability unlocked. Do you? No. And we're not even going to use you as the superstar X Factor on the field. It's good that you have it, obviously, but we're not using you as that guy. We should say 84. I think you went up two overalls, actually. Awareness. That's why you went up, because you went up with awareness. Greedy Williams. And I think that might be our last one. I'm going to go man for you. Just taking your scheme fit. Plus two to man coverage. What does your stats look like? You're very decent, but... Sometimes I do notice you getting beat. And we're going to just let the CPU do the rest. Now, this is a pretty long intro. It has to be because this is the last season. It's also a season opener. And we do have to talk about a lot of things. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, let's get right into this game against the Bengals. A team that was very hard to stop a couple years ago. But they have no X-Factors. Which is very interesting. And we have a lot of them. Joe Mixon, who has always been a tough running back to stop. Joe Burrow, who has been a, always a tough quarterback to stop. Good right tackle. Uh, Jaron Reed. Wasn't he on the... What team is this? Seahawks. He was actually on the Seahawks, I believe. Interesting. And McKenzie Alexander. So very interesting matchups, and we're going to get right into it. And we did go over the contract stuff that we're going to have to... Well, we're not going to have to resign because we're not going to worry about that. But, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously a tough situation we are dealing with. But well, we're not even going to have to deal with it. W, it's just a tough situation. I don't know how to word it. Like, we're not dealing with it, but it's a tough situation that we are kind of ahead. Uh, players want contracts. We don't have money, so we're not even going to even address it. Does Herbert wants 220 mil? We don't even have 100. <laughs> I don't have the money for you, bro. Yes, you are top quarterback in this league. You are one of the best quarterbacks in this league. Even though you do have interception throwing problems. But it's like, bro, I can't. I don't got the money to pay you. <laughs> we just don't got it. What do you want us to do? Now, if I find a way or you guys know a way of coming up with some money... In this game, you can let me know. But other than that, I don't know what we're going to do. Make your way to the field. The quarterback that wants to get paid. <laughs> and I agree, you should get paid, but... I still have the money for you, bro. I just remember, this is on Rookie... This is on Rookie. And when I was running the ball, I'm like, why was it so easy to get that, like, to the 33-yard line? It was, like, really easy. It's an interesting episode so far. Um, I'm, I hate myself. Because <laughs> how did I forget that? And the only reason it's on Rookie is because when the season starts and we're in preseason, I need screenshots to, um, to what? Oh, yeah, I need screenshots for the thumbnail, and that's only way I can get screenshots if I play the preseason. I'm not trying to play on all Madden. I, I need good screenshots, good plays to get the good screenshots. Anyways, we'll see you on the field. All right, now we're actually kicking off, so whatever. <laughs> That was a good tackle by Mason. First career tackle for loss. 
Well, free season stats count, but you probably not first career title or low. That's actually a very good run. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Nasir Ali's about to hit stick him. Well, he did, but he just fell into the defender's arm. So, it wasn't really a hit stick, was it? Ah. Oh. Alright, Mason is actually... I like the way he plays. Um... He's very fast, obviously. He can break tackles at a very decent rate. Nope, let's blitz, let's blitz, let's blitz, let's blitz, let's blitz. That's a good tackle. Somehow he falls forward, but he didn't get the first down. All right, defense played really well right there. Also, we gave, uh, did we give him a first down? Yeah, we gave him a first down. But we played well enough. You know our motto, Ben, don't break. All right, I threw it up. Probably shouldn't have done that. It was very wobbly on the way up. There we go. I really didn't think he would uh, get that separation. We seen him get open, threw the ball to him. That's basically a 30 yard reception right there. We are going to uh, run a screen. Hopefully, my passes, hopefully, my blockers show up. They didn't really, but I forgot Kareem was a superstar. That, I was a superstar, actually. Well, I forgot he was a superstar. I really forgot that. I'm trying to think, like, hmm. Something has changed on this team, but I'm just not bringing it up. Damn. Until they get through that hole. First yard of the game. First yard. First rush of the game is a four-yard rush. They are blitzing us. So here's what we will do. We will streak, block, double slants. They can't get in. And this is a touchdown. Dorian Dale. Easy. It's going to be a 7-zip game. They blitz um, all the linebackers. No one's going to... Especially on that. They're not going to hold on to Dorian one-on-one. -on -one. Like, maybe on the street because you just follow me up the seam and that's easier to track. But when I'm, when he's on a slant and he just makes that cut, you're you're dusted. So, Joe Burrow's last time on the field, or his first drive actually on the field, was, it wasn't the best. Obviously, they didn't, they gained like a first down. Didn't really get much after that. Smart. All right. They're faced with another third down. Third and one this time. We're obviously going to be blitzing this. Ah, oh, you are so lucky, man. I got in there with Kenneth Murray, but he just evaded so quickly that I had no chance to do anything. Um, are you serious? <laughs> uh, Joey Bosa just got fucking hit by you know who. I just can't think of his name right now. Are they flipping shit? Let's actually switch. Big hit. No fumble. Is Mason a big hitter? I don't know if he is. This is our draft class. As you see, we took uh, Joe Mason with the 14th pick, Marcus Harriet, with the... Uh, I don't even know what pick I said. You've seen it. If you didn't see it, just go back and pause it. Oh, my God. I'm getting blocked. I hate this game. I hate this game. Yo, they just sucked me into, like, three blocks. Well, too, but I'm just exaggerating. Like, what the actual fuck? 
They're switching. Could this be a run? Oh. Big hit. Jumbo 6 for 6, 35 yards. I feel like he's just handed run, the running back the ball. Oh my god, this is me. That's me. <sighs> the run got me. The run got me. I thought he was going to hand it off. He dropped it. There we go. Good way to make up. Let's get a stop, fellas, right here. Big stop, big stop, big stop. There we go, oh, Mason. I should have hit him harder. That was a good hit enough. Running. Like, I did, like, a light tackle, but that was a, still a hard tackle. You're just a better Drew Tranquil. You're like Drew Tranquil with speed and a little bit less coverage, but we could work on the coverage. That's the whole thing. Drew Tranquil, it was hard to get his speed up because he just wasn't built as a fast guy. There we go. Nice shit, Kareem. I love it. And then blockers perform. We will get good shit with you. Here we go. Another 10-yard gain. They catch that in? Oh, my God. You have to be kidding me. That's some shit that happens on a rookie. Coaches, coach likes it. We're rolling. Corner. I think this could work for us. Oh, wow. This is actually... Who was that? Was that the... Uh, I don't know who that was. Who caught that? Can I see who caught that? It was actually Nick Black. Uh, receiver we drafted. I actually forgot to mention that receiver. As in the players we drafted. Good, good move. It was a good run. It was a rush run. I actually wanted to pass out of that, but I just I could not find a play I wanted. And I didn't want to force something. Even though it didn't matter that we forced it, that we are in the zone. So it didn't really... Okay, this might work. I was about to say, there's no way he still caught on to that. Well, held on to that. I might go with a run right here. Like, this could be a throw to Dorian, or it could be a throw to Hunter. We'll just have to see how these players play. Hold on to it. Very um, interesting play, to say the least. Because I threw it uh, without thinking about it. As soon as I see, seen that it was one-on-one, -on -one, I threw it. And he beat him. And I didn't have to go with that aggressive-ass catch. I could have just went possession or something the aggressive catch could have like really um been bad for us but so far two receiving touchdowns for dorian dell two touchdowns for justin herbert just herbert is playing well our defense is playing good as usual and i don't think um like i don't think it's playing bad obviously like i always say like offense is going to be the easiest thing in the game for us It's going to be third and what, four, three? Definitely four. And we're going to need another stop, fellas. Everything is covered. Nope. Everything is not covered. But that was a difficult stop because, not stop, a difficult spot because Emmanuel Mosley had to play kind of backed up right there. And the corner to safety whoever that was right there had to play that sideline it's just a difficult spot 
I miss seeing Tom Brady on that sideline. Why does he look like, uh, like NFL 2K5 graphics right there? Those graphics looked horrible. Oh my god. Cause it's the, the routes right there are so difficult to cover. Cause I have to follow that uh, not safety. I have to follow that linebacker all the way down, like all the way. Big hit. Let's go. I love that. That's how I want my safeties to play all the time. Like at all times, play it exactly like that. Nowhere to go. Let's go. Chen Nawosu. We were just talking about you. In the intro, obviously. Alright, let's try to stop him from getting points right here, fellas. Yeah, they're going to call time out. I feel like I should have stood in the middle, but I went all the way to the right side. Because when I see that quarterback rolling out, I'm like, I have to follow him just in case he does scramble. All right, good tackle. We're going to call another timeout. You know it's necessary. You're right here. Obviously, you want points, but you're still right here. I should never dive. I should never dive. Should just protect it. Yeah, them outside just wasn't really covered like that. That's all right. It's gonna put it ten to fourteen as they drive down the field and score. We have forty seconds left though, and we could obviously score. We scored with less time before. We had game winners in less time before, obviously. So, and we have all the time out, so it's not impossible to. Get points right now. There's no way. I just let him get in. Unblock. I did not care. That's crazy to me, y'all. Come on. There's a flag, though. I actually could have scored if I didn't go all the way out. There's going to be a hold. Man. Now we're on second and 28. I want to go same play if we can. Come on, Dorian. There we go. There we go. Literally how you do it. Literally how you fucking do it. We get sacked. Um, we get a penalty with holding. Do not matter. Dorian. And it, it, it seems like they ran man. Yeah, they did run man. Cover one contain. And we just stuck with what we knew. Got the points and scored. That's what I'm saying. And man, it's going to be very hard. You did have a safety back there, but uh, he was playing middle. He didn't follow. He didn't really protect. And Dorian just outruns everybody. Big play. Oh, are you kidding me? Mosley, catch it. Bro, we catch that. We have potential points on the play. Very good play by us, scoring before half. Uh, they were in a good spot, man. They they had us on second and like twenty eight. They had us in a good spot. Was it yeah? It was second time. I was gonna say wasn't it third because we did take two plays, but yeah. Um, rushing the ball for both teams are not really there, but it's all right. Um, none of these games really matter because it's early in the season. Like you can start off zero and three, zero and four, and just pick up a whole bunch of wins.
Sometimes you just have to win out to win. That's what it takes. Like, even me, uh, I believe it was the first season. We was on, like, an eight-game win streak, and then we dropped some games, and we kind of almost lost that first seed. We actually had a wild card because we lost a couple games at the end. So, you know, certain things happen. There we go. Getting the first. Seven rushes, 51 yards. Rushing ball is just so much easier with him now. He just has that speed, man. That break all speed. We'll see what the safety does. Good. All right. Safety actually played it pretty well. That's intel. Should have been, man. That fourth down? Nope. So, oh. All right. Third and ten. I have no faith in what I'm... This drive. This drive was to shits. All right. We didn't get the first down. Like, we could go for it, but there's real no point. 58-yard field goal. We banged 60 before, so it's cool. We, had a, we might have missed this. Got the leg for it. There we go. It just drops right in. 24 to 10. You know, getting points on that on our worst drive of the day. So, if we got drives like that all game, we're going to come out here with a W. Especially if we stopped them from scoring. Good tackle by Nasser. Because I think that was Derwin James coming down from that other side of the safety position. And uh, he was not prepared. Let's just say that. <laughs> no way. Oh, my gosh. Anybody going to catch him? Good tackle by Derwin. <sighs> That's the second time Emmanuel Mosley has gotten burned. Can you please recover, bro? That was a good route. It was a very good route. I would have to be in front of him just to really cover that, but clearly I was not. Into. Let's go, Kenneth Murray Jr. And I'm glad I moved off from him because if I was on him, I guarantee I would not get that. I would have moved. There you go. Eight rushes, 60 yards. He fumbled. I think he really fumbled, though. Oh, my God. I think he would have got that touchdown. Because listen, where I was at and where he was throwing to, I don't think I would have got there. Derwin, man. That was uh, a spot Derwin should have been in. That's all right. 16-24. Uh, well, 17-24 is an extra point. The fumble really fucked us. That's what it is. That's all it is, man. Go to catch, Kareem. Kind of let it a little too up. I want it to be more like a out, in a way. Like the route. There you go. First down. Run the ball a little bit right here. There we go. Big run. Nine rushes, seven two yards. There we go. Donnie. 
You know, in a, in, in a slight way, Tony is getting a little bit more uh, love than Dorian. Not Dorian, than Joe Reed. Actually, I would never say uh, he's better, but. Oh, what a catch. All right, we need a first down. So what are we going to do? Run the ball. They're not giving me no run plays, though, which I don't like. That's all right. Blitz it off the edge. A pass will be cool right here, but no, we're going to just throw it. I mean, run it. And we're going to fall right in the end zone. Kareem. Just rushing right in, powering through, falling down. Very good run. Just really powering through everything and just stumbling in the end zone to put us up 31 to 17. I think uh, it's just defense's problem with stopping us. Uh, it's like I don't I don't know if I should up the coverage because I don't know, man. I might like. How does last season end? Doesn't matter. We, we we built a dominant team over here. If we were to handle money a little bit better, um, yeah, I think that's all we was missing. Just money management. I always say in the beginning of the franchise, I'm not good at um, managing money in franchises, like at all. That's not what I do. No way! Come on, man. I don't think a tackle from this air. Good attempt. Always good attempt. But now it's fourth. <clears throat> I always say fourth down. I noticed that in my videos when I'm editing. I always say fourth down. Now it is fourth quarter. Where if they probably don't score here, they probably will. That's it. It's no more game. Oh, you are so lucky, bro. Like, I know you didn't want... You want to throw it over the middle. But you seen me. You seen me. So I forced you. They're not going to run here, are they? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. And that is going to be a fourth down. What do you do here? I think you have to go for it. But they say, no, they don't. <laughs> All right. Whatever. That's fine. You don't... Don't you don't have now, offense gets to come on the field even more. Three catches, 155 yards for three touchdowns. He's having a, a game just like he had a couple weeks ago when he had three receptions for three touchdowns. All his receptions have been touchdowns, which I have not noticed. But now that I look back on it, those things are true. He was still on his feet. I just want to hurry up. I want to come out in that pass. I want to see if he gets open. Are you serious? There's no way you actually dropped that, bro. Oh, there's a flag. I'm like, why is my receiver not running anymore? Because what I look at is where the ball is going to be placed. And, like, obviously my peripheral is looking at the receiver. So we got bailed out right there. Um, Where are they going? Hunter, Henry, or... I want to say Dorian. I think it might be Hunter on this one. And it is... There we go, Hunter. Nice little probably 30 yard gain. I might be able to fit this in over. There we go. I'm short though. I'm short. I didn't think it would be um covered like that. So, you know. They want me to go for it, which I do agree with we should. We definitely should.
Can we get this, though? Well, obviously, believe in the run more than the pass right here. We scored from right here literally just a drive ago. Falling forward, getting the first down. And Cesar Ruiz, who is the man we uh, literally just uh, franchise tagged last season, is injured. It seems like they're having blitzes on this play, but I'm still going to run it. And he's in there for another first down. Kareem. I'm going to put it 37 to 17. We're running up the score on the Bengals. A team that was very hard to stop a couple seasons ago, but very easy to stop. Well, I'm going to say very easy to stop. They just. They don't play aggressive enough. It has nothing to do with how I play offense. Because I think if they was aggressive, if every team was as aggressive as how the Seahawks played, if they was like that, obviously you need a scrambling quarterback. You need, you need multiple things to be like the Seahawks. But nonetheless, if you were like the Seahawks, where they wasn't very dominant on defense for us, like at all, elbows range. We came out. He, they weren't very dominant on defense for us. They were dominant on offense. And if every, every team could be dominant on offense, and the same like how, how we was, the only reason why they lost is because we got to stop at the end. We got two fumbles at the end of the game. Well, we got an interception and then a fumble. That's the only reason why we won that game. No, it has nothing to do how to play defense. It's too old how to play offense. I just messed up my words. I'm out. Like, they could get all this stuff. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to be, like, the total yards we gave up, which, once again, doesn't matter because it's the end of the game. Good spot. You see, they played like this a lot where they are taking some deep shots. Obviously, all their plays are not deep shots, but they are taking some deep shots. They would not run here. Like, stop. They actually ran. <laughs> All right, it's going to be 23 to 38. Uh, still down by multiple scores, but it's fine. We've seen crazier comebacks. And actually onsiding here, I'm not going to call timeout. It is what it is. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. There we go. We actually recover. I don't know who was on that far right side, but you did not go for the ball. All right, if we can, I don't even know if y'all going to pick up. Because y'all got to get two blockers on this one. And we do. Let's go. Kareem falling forward. That's going to be game. Definitely going to be game right there. And we're getting in Kareem. So if you can't tell, the only people that's going to be on these thumbnails are Dorian Dale and Kareem Hunt. Because this was them. They, I think they scored all my touchdowns. Like, no bullshit. I really think they did score all my touchdowns. Uh, I probably should have been there. It doesn't matter. They scored. And we just scored anyway. So you're... It doesn't matter. None of this shit matters. They're both reviewing. I don't care. Give them a million points. Well, don't actually... Bro, they are prolonging this game so fucking hard. There's no way. How did that? Once again, I don't understand. This game's fucking the game. Okay, that's the game. Finally, man. They just once again they prolonged. If you're down by multiple scores, and you like time, time. I get it. You have the timeouts to. Kinda, if you do score a quick touchdown. But y'all never score a quick touchdowns. Y'all take about two minutes to score. Like, I hate that they prolong the game so much. Jo Joe Burrow always get those... Remember I used to get those two mixed up a lot? Fun times, weren't they? Joe Burrow, 362 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He had a very... He had a decent game. He started getting better as the game went on. As he's like a... Like, like he's a fucking rookie or something. Justin Herbert, fantastic. Only missed about what? 
Five throws. Is that five? That's not five. That's not even how math works. Eight. Seven. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Three, tw 330 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Very, very good game. Kareem Hunt. Russell Wilson, 23 times, 126 yards on the ground. 5.4 average on the ground with three touchdowns. And who had an even better game? Dorian Dell had three receptions, 155 yards, three touchdowns. Once again, he has outdid himself somehow. I don't know how he, how he does it sometimes. I really do not understand how this man does it. But he gets shit done, for real. Um, Yeah. Next highest catch was hard. two catches, 62 yards. Three catches. Well, if we really do look at it, we didn't. We threw the ball a lot because Durando had three catches. Next highest was Preston Williams with two. Hunter Henry with three. Tony Burton with four. Cream Hunt with three. Uh, Max Williams, Nick Black. And we didn't throw the ball to Joe Reed today. He is going to be mad. <laughs> He's going to be very mad. Defensively, Tigers for loss, we had one with Derwin James and uh, Joe Mason. We also had a sack with him, interceptions, one with Kenneth Murray, and I think that's all we got. Really good week for us, Dorian Dale, obviously, Cream Hunt, Joe, not Joe, Justin Herbert. And weekly award, please be Dorian Dale. Thank you. That's perfect for a screenshot. I needed that. I was hoping one of my guys would have got it. Uh, we are moving on to week two, where we will be facing the 0-1 Denver Broncos, a team that is very difficult for us to beat in this, uh, well, wasn't really difficult in the past year, or maybe two. You know, a lot of teams, it was difficult with it, which is the Broncos and Raiders, which we faced them back-to-back. -back. We faced Broncos, Raiders, Broncos, then we faced Chiefs. So we are on a divisional tour right now. Ah, gotta love it. Uh, I just want to see where... My rookies are for revealing their uh, devs. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that what's-his-name got injured in preseason. That's who I was missing. I was like, why is Nick Black in? But I just remembered what's-his-name got injured. Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones got injured for four weeks. He had a partial MCL tear. He'll be back in four weeks, though. So that is good. Um, Nick Black is not a bad, bad guy, so I mean... We didn't, I feel like we didn't abuse the run this game, but we didn't, not that we didn't need to, but we just didn't do that. Um, what was that sales gun check? I was going to check. Oh, yeah, our players. I'm like, why am I still here? Did not outro this already? Um, yeah, we're going to check our players to see what they got or where they, where they are at. So Joe Mason is basically, you know, kind of halfway there. He's right there to it. So he should be by eight week, week, eight week, by like week eight to week five, maybe he should be revealed. Let's see where Harry is. Once again, he's there too. And Adams, you probably won't be since you don't play a lot. Yeah, you're going to take the longest. You're still close though. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video. Be sure, be fucking sure, leave a like, you know, subscribe if you're new, if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you in the next video, but until next video, you can't forget this, until next video, peace. I ain't listen to what niggas saying, wow. shit niggas hate it on Jesus, I told a little bitch I'd be rich, she thought I was playing, now she hit me, now she need me, smoking on fritter, my bitch gon' suck me up till she finish, she not a quitter, my ginger oh. real red, that's cause it's cranberry, plus the drink that I put in it.